Yo, what's up? This is Germs from Germs Boxing. Um, yeah, James Tony, Randy Couture, bullshit fight. You know, when I first heard this fight was gonna happen, everybody was like, oh, boxing versus MMA. Let's see which one wins and shit, right? Let's see which one's the best sport. And I was like, oh yeah, cool, cool. Who's gonna be fighting then, you know? Tony and Couture. I'm like, oh man. Can they pick somebody more out of shape than James Tony? Man, you see, Randy Couture is like the legend in MMA, right? He's like a tall, natural, heavyweight guy. He's got a freaking bricks, more bricks than fucking a goddamn building. He's, he, he's just an athlete. He's big, tall. He's a freaking athlete, you know? At his, at his, at his skinniest, he can be like, what? What was it? Like 220-something? You know, James Tony started at 160, right? And uh, if he gets down to his brick pack like Randy Couture, James Tony at his heaviest would be a cruiserweight, maybe even a little over a light heavyweight. He's a small guy, you know? So when they said James Tony was going to fight, I'm like, God damn. Man, this is going to be a one sided choke out. You know what I mean? Like, nobody's going to go toe to toe with a boxer. MMA fighters are scared to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with boxers. Look what happened to Tim Silva when he fought made Rave Mercer. You see, the difference between Mercer and Tony, Tony doesn't have heavy hands. He never was a knockout puncher. I don't know why he was saying all that shit with, oh, I'm gonna knock him out, I'm gonna knock him out. I'm like, James Tony is James Tony. He's pumping himself up. If any boxing fan bought the pay-per-view, that means that he got sucked into James Tony and was hoping they can get some sort of, I don't know, nostalgic victory. But, I don't know, James Tony's not a puncher. He doesn't even have heavy hands, you know? James Tony relies on his slickety slickness and, you know, and then gets you. Basically, he waits for you to throw his punches. He was waiting for Couture to throw something and Couture whoo, grabs his legs, gets him on the ground, hugs, 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 gets up, slap, hug, 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 gets up, slap, kisses him, hugs, slap, hug, 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 gets up, slap, hug, 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 choke, hug, choke, choke, hug, hug, choke, that's it, what, that's it, how gay was that, I don't know, if I'm gonna fight somebody, I'm gonna fight somebody, I'm gonna fight him with this, go toe to toe, all right, man, boom, let's go, let's get down, this guy's talking so much shit, all right, I'm gonna punish you, I'm not even gonna go, oh my god, I'm scared of, I'm scared of him to hit me. So I'm gonna just hug him and do what I do best and just wrestle at WWE style and just wrestle and wrestle and wrestle and wrestle. And, and, and then everybody's all hitting me up. You see? MMA beat boxing. Do, 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 do. MMA beat boxing. I'm like, no, it didn't. They just took out some fat fuck. That's it. You see, the thing with Mercer is that Mercer was a puncher. Mercer's a real heavyweight. He would knock people out cold with one punch all the time when he was younger. When he was younger, okay? So for, 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 for James Tony to say he was going to knock him, I'm like, dude, you don't even have that punch. Ray Mercer had the punch. And you can see, well, look what happened. Silva, Tim Silva, whatever the fuck his name is, went up against Mercer, gets iced in one round. I'm like, whew, I knew that was going to happen because that's what happens when MMA fighters try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with boxers. Don't get me wrong. You know, if, 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 you see, boxing is in MMA's element, but wrestling isn't in boxers' elements. You know what I'm saying? It's like taking them to your neighborhood, you know, some rival gang member, taking them to your neighborhood. Of course, you're going to have the edge, but it, because you guys are going to jump them. You know, that's what it is. That's what happened. Couture took James Tony to his hood and had his homies jump him and him. James Tony would have taken Couture to his hood and fought him one-on-one -on -one in front of his homies. And if he lost, that's it. You see where I'm getting with this? It's a metaphor. You know? Randy Couture, you know what I mean? I mean, I, he's all right. I've seen him fight. You know, he's, he's cool. He's all right. Suck. Suck. He's all right. He's cool. You know? I don't I don't have anything against him. But James Tony? Nah. When I, it's kind of like the Mayorga. You know? Mayorga was going to be an MMA, I'm like, oh my god, can they pick somebody slower and sloppier than him? They just want they just want to pick guys they can look good against. Look Vitaly Klitschko. Vitaly Klitschko, man, he was a real kickboxer. He's knocking out Chinese dudes, Japanese dudes, kickboxers left and right. That guy could kick. He's, what, 6'8", 
You know, his legs extend so far. Pow, pow, get him in the MMA ring. See what happens then. Get a real class fighter. James Tony wasn't even in the top 10, top 20, top 30. He's not even in, in that caliber right now. You know, he's over the age. And they'll say, oh, Couture is 46, 47 years old. Well, so is James Tony, And he was fat, too. You know what I'm saying? When I saw Couture wrestle James Tony down and then puts all his weight on him, I saw James Tony already got tired because his big man is on top of him. A man who's naturally up to 50 pounds heavier than, than Tony naturally. Okay? So having the extra 50 pounds naturally over you, I'm not counting the fat that James Tony had in his ass and his crack and his fucking love handles. No, I'm not counting that. That all alone adds up to like 50 pounds for James Tony. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to remember, James Tony came, you know, at his skinniest, at his heaviest. If he was in shape, he would be a cruiserweight, maybe even a little over a light heavyweight. Because he's small. He's like, what, 5'10", 5 5'9", 5 you know? And Tyson was 5'11". He's shorter than Tyson. You know, he's a little heavy, like a little ball, a little pudgy ball. So mathematically, if a big thing gets him a little ball and just like smothers it, of course it's going to beat it. You know what I'm saying? I knew that was going to happen. I knew the whole first round thing was going to happen. You know, because he, I knew he was going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with James Tony. He's not. No MMA fighter will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with James Tony or anybody, any boxer. Because they're too scared. They're too scared. You hear that? You hear that? Too scared. If James Tony went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Couture and Couture said, all right, let's do this. Bam, bam, bam. I can beat you in your own game. Then, all right. I'll shut my mouth up. But because it happened this way, he hugged them to death. I'm not going to shut my mouth up. You see, that's what I knew. That's what you guys do. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't even know if there's any... Uh, uh, James Tony's obviously going to come back into boxing. Now they're talking about Kimbo Slice going into boxing. He's going to get knocked out quick. <laughs> Trust me. So it's like, whatever. This doesn't prove shit to the MMA. And anybody who's fucking making a big deal about it. Oh, he knocked him out. He killed it. You guys are just wishful thinking, man. That's you. You guys wish MMA was as legendary as seasoned as boxing is. You just wish you had that epic, those epic wars, the Mickey Wars, the Arturo Garis, Corrales Castillo, the 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 Hagler Hearns, you know, all that. Even the Sergey Lyakovich and Lehman Brewster, like little fights that nobody really knows about that turn out to be classic. You guys wish you had that shit. You guys wish you had all this history. You guys wish you had all these legends, and you guys wish you had this past then you don't you guys ride on boxing and you know what you guys try to run with it it ain't nothing it's just a bunch of boxing rejects who just takes off their shirt and cockfight that's it that's it i've seen a lot of mma do i see okay what i've seen boxers who used to be journeymen they're like at the with the record of five wins and like 11 losses okay go into mma become undefeated stars wow why it just, it's in, it's in the wall. The writing's in the wall, okay? So it doesn't prove shit. James Tony wasn't even a real heavyweight. And um, Couture didn't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. That's it for me. That's it for me. I'm not talking shit about MMA. I'm talking shit about MMA fans, okay? That's what I'm doing. So, well, it don't fucking matter, okay? So that's what I gotta say. Germs, germs boxing, I'm out.